In the previous episode, we successfully raided villages more consistently, fought several groups of desert bandits, reached Clan Tier 2 and became a vassal of Regea, lost a really close Empire tournament to a noble, won and lost a few more village raids, and looted really good but hideously ugly armor. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say that one way is better than the other. Alright, headshot. Uh, we're gonna play chicken with this guy. Uh, kind of. Oh, wow. He just domed our horse. Look at our horse has a... Uh, we have a unicorn now. <laughs> How dare you. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, let's not play with this guy. Yeah, he didn't... He didn't take too kindly. To our words. One more hit. Come on. There we go. All right, we're good. That was scary, man. We should have probably died there, but he must have hit our heavily armored part, like our core, instead of our arm or our head. Ooh, that was that was pretty scary. Uh, let's take everything except for the horse. We've got room. And we are pretty badly injured now, so let's not get caught. We can sell some stuff. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We can't fight on the way back anyway, since we have to heal. Let's just get back there. Or do this yeah i think that's all we need to do we still have a simple short bow that's crazy yeah we, we definitely need to get a better bow and arrow this is kind of a long time coming and this is our castle look at that get out of here so no garrison because we don't want to pay for them we'll just make a little bit of money whatever money we can from this and then it is what it is but we'll turn everything off put festival and games on so it's loyalty is not like zero if your loyalty is very low you're going to get no money out of it so you just boost your loyalty up and then you'll you'll start making some money out of it. All right, let's heal up a little bit. That's probably more than enough. Now we are making some decent gold from this. So we got tribute income, we got 576 gold. I actually really like castles. I don't like keeping them as um, on the front line necessarily because they're easy to lose. But if you just dump the garrison, you can actually make pretty good money from a castle. I mean, this is a really bad castle. It's only got... 400 prosperity and it's still making you know almost 700 a day it's i mean you can't get anywhere near that with the uh oh, what am i doing i was gonna sell stuff let's go up to the town even a um a workshop you're not gonna make that much money so did we we already sold this but we can buy a bow if we want to do another bow or do we just save that is a tough one man i think we just save you know what we could do also we need to do this we need to get some levels all right, and we have that perk that increases the regen of our stamina by quite a bit. That's not enough to do anything with it, so we're just gonna... We'll sell the charcoal back to them. We just want to get the XP from it. That's fine. Hey, we got it. Level 25 medicine, so five hit points. More importantly, the 30% recovery after each battle, that's going to be key. And that should help quite a bit. And have an extra hit points. So we've got another 12 hit points. It all adds up. Now, one thing, what do we have to do now? So, priority... We need to still level up bow a little bit more. We need to make a little bit more money so we can get the we can buy the the noble longbow. We also need to start working on smithing. So that's probably not a bad idea. Let's go town to town, fight people, uh, bandits along the way. I don't know if we need to do any more tournaments. I guess we could if we can find some boots and some hand coverings, uh, arm armor. I don't know why I called it that. It, also, we need some armor for our mount. Let's just at least see what the prize is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Themyscene steel-tipped spear. That's a good one. Some sneaky, sneaky stuff incoming. Yeah, it's going to be a mix of stuff. It's not going to be any, like, one strategy. For sure, it'll be a mix of stuff. Oh, okay. Let's help our buddy out here. No, you killed my buddy. Our attack speed's getting to that point where we can just spam, and there's not much they can do about it. <laughs> We're just mowing people down. Who needs to block? Oh, this guy's too fast, though. Oh, that was... I thought they were trying to help me. Oh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. I got too greedy. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, I forgot what color we were, but we're still in it. It's 2v2 across the board, so we might still have a chance. I really want that spear... Man, look at that, 1v1. I don't know what color we are, but I hope we're in it. Well, I know we're in it, but I hope we get to the end. All right, this is gonna take a while, man. 
Yeah, once it's cav versus cav on the end, they're just gonna circle each other. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it's pretty bad still. <laughs> they're just like running into the walls. Like if, if you saw this in real life, you'd, you'd probably think the person was drunk. Uh, green. Okay, so we're still in it. Asteroid veteran infantry. Oh, he's chasing. Get him. It's gonna be tough taking that noble out though. Patir. Oh, he got it. Yeah, we're in it. Nice. We made it. One of the few times I'm proud of the AI. Wait, are we getting... This guy's... We're getting... We're getting it from two angles. Well, I hope that guy kills you since you spent your whole time throwing at us. Alright, we gotta hit this guy in the ankles. Nope. Okay. That was definitely not his... <laughs> that was definitely not aimed at his foot. Or at his shield. But you gotta love it. Alright, I'm gonna try and hold the attack a little longer. See if we can get him to attack. Got him. Got him. There we go. All right. So our attack speed's fast enough. I think we can do it. Plus, that sword is really long, so the AI has kind of a hard time uh, timing it. We have a little more time to react. I nailed that horse. There we go. Yeah, I was going to say that horse is toast. All right. Nothing fancy on this one since we already hit him once. <laughs> Oh, that looks so painful. Oh, did we run out? Wow. Got him. All right, there we go. Yeah, the veteran infantry took out the Ferris on horseback. That tells you something about the Ferris, right? So we did get a nice spear. Uh, hopefully this thing's, uh, you know, nice and long. Exactly what Galadriel likes. <laughs> oh, it's not as good, though. 188. It's slightly longer but a decent amount less in damage. I don't know if it's worth it. We'll hang on to it. It's not that heavy. We can just smelt it, I guess. Have any hardwood? No hardwood. Let's keep moving. In the faith. And that should give us some throwing. We're going to go... Shieldbreaker is actually really nice to have early on. And then once we get Impale, we'll switch off of it. But I probably won't remember, so let's just go quick draw. I'll forget. I already know I will. All right, let's go town to town. And then if we run into people, we'll just fight. We do need to find uh, some hideouts to fight. We could, you know, this thing's only four grand. This could be a nice stopgap because it's similar accuracy, but a lot more damage. Speed's about the same. And it's only going to cost us 3,600. I think we'll do that. That's fine. I, I want to get something new. That thing is just, that's the original bow. Not the one we started with, but that's the very first one we bought from the very beginning of the game. Kind of a turd. Oh, beautiful. Gladly take that. Now, question is, before we go in, is it worth it? Yeah, let's get to 250 at least. And that will give us the plus 25 aiming speed with bow. And then we'll switch off of it and start working on throwing. I think that's the plan. Ooh, yeah. This thing shoots nice. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. And that guy didn't have a weapon out yet. All right, I do like this guy's sword. But it, the attack speed's too slow. We're, the guys, they're just going to block it. So let's go for... Something else. Get that little mace that they have. Oh, that was a bad shot. Alright, I did see a mace here, so let's drop our regular arrows. Not that we need it, but we'll refill just in case, and we'll take take the mace. Uh, forget to set the auto recruitment of the castle off. If you So, yeah, that's a good point, but if you drain the garrison, if there's zero people in there, it will not fill no matter what you do. Even if you want it to, you have to have at least one person in there. Otherwise, it will not recruit. It's it's kind of like um, like a auto. I, I don't know. If it's zero, it just does not fill back up. But yeah, that's a good point. If you want it to stay, you know, small or or not recruit back up, then yeah, you definitely need to turn that off. Uh, there's probably somebody right here. Okay, slow it down a little bit. This thing, that's what I was talking about earlier, it's going to be an adjustment because this thing shoots a little bit higher. Slower and higher. But no big deal. All right, we will take a shot at this guy, and if not, then we'll, we'll go after him with the, the mace. Ooh, there we go. That's a good start. We only have to hit this guy like once, maybe. What in the world? I definitely blocked. I I think maybe the, the hitbox for this thing is not quite what the visual one is because that that felt a little off but we got it done anyways nine oh nice so we hit 200 athletics we're really close to getting the um 
Oh, uh, is my brain going blank? The attribute points. That's that's the main thing we're going for here is the attribute points. So yeah, control. So we can get normally I would recommend vigor because you get the party speed on foot, but it doesn't matter. We move at seven movement speed anyways. It, it's not really relevant. Uh, another point into smithing. So we're doing pretty good. We are not even a full year in. I mean, this is slower than what I've done before, but I have to do it differently because I need to spread out the skill points. I need at the very minimum bow needs to be high throwing needs to be high athletics and then the melee skills not as important but it, it'll be nice to have them up there <laughs> aim hacks on all right let's keep visiting uh towns and stuff actually was there something i was supposed to keep here i don't think so oh yeah i was gonna get rid of this thing no actually i was gonna keep it and smelt it yeah that looks good oh cut a hand that one's pretty good too but it's not as fast as the Ascarat. i think this is this is like the equivalent of the Asari horse, the old one. It's really good. I don't really want to do this. This is kind of a waste of time. Not for the axe. If they had a better prize, then for sure, but not for that. Still right. You blunt my leg, how dare you. Alright, so Bo is almost there. Almost there. Then we need to switch over to um, throwing weapons. That's going to be the next one, I think. Uh, we need to go to Oscar. This is the part of the campaign that slows down, and I I couldn't really find a good way to, around it, other than finding bandits and uh, the bandit hideouts. So it's kind of uh, and up until the point where there's another war declared, it's going to be kind of rough. But that's all right. So that we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. We need seventy, like seventy-one or seventy-two k for the noble longbow. I don't think there's anything. It, there's nothing here that we really want to buy. Oh, stacked bodkin. Tempting. I'd rather... Yeah, we definitely want to have the other ones first. Also need to start looking at buying some javelins. That would probably be a good idea soon. Ooh. I mean, we were right on top of that thing and didn't discover it. What the heck? Uh, hot. I totally whiffed that shot, didn't I? Completely whiffed it. All right, we're doing good now. Yeah, this thing is shredding people, man. I can't, when we get the Noble Longbow, it's gonna be 10 times better. Cause this is still a pretty low end uh, bow. It's only 5,000 in ours, so. We can do this on speed three, I think. Okay, I'm missing, there we go. Man, look at that, they got like a little convention here. Holy crap, four? Never seen four people in this little intersection before. This must be one of the original uh, hideouts from the beginning of the game that just kept getting built up. Like every time they capture peasants and bring them back, I think they um, they can convert them into more units or something. Something like that happens. Like I don't know exactly, but like the longer they're alive, the um, the more troops they'll have in here. Right, so that's good. Avoid having to go all the way up there because we're lazy. There you are. To get ooh baited them. Actually, I could do that. Kind of scary. I tried to attack twice. I don't, we don't have the attack speed yet. Back into the corner. Oh, he's hitting. <laughs> he's hitting the the wall on the map. Kind of scary because I can't tell which attacks are going to go through and which aren't. But I guess it doesn't matter. Nice. And that puts us at 249, so close, man. Uh, but we did get 125 one-handed, so that helps. Actually, we're going to need to go heal. Let's just take prisoners and sell them. And one-handed, this gives us the larger protection area, which is pretty nice to have. Now we get a force field around our shield. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape here. There's nothing we need to change. Oh, they do have some hardwood. Let's actually deal with that. And then I wanted to smelt... Yeah, I wanted to smelt one of these down. I think... It was the Thamaskeen tip. Yeah, this one. And let's not sell our steel or iron. We can sell the other stuff. It's fine. Yeah, it's going to be heavy. All right, let's keep moving. We do have that perk where we gain HP after every successful battle. So even if we're low on HP, we can just um, pick on some looters to heal. So we can keep this thing rolling. Oh, wow. What is Batania doing down here? I guess because they have Thrakdrae, but that is a very uh, isolated army. 
Interesting. Well, they're about to end this siege. There we go. Oh, they <laughs> they canceled their siege and then reinitiated it. They're about to get stomped right here, I think. Yeah, let me go in your town. I gotta wait. And then... Yeah, I don't want to mess with any of that. That's fine. You know what we could do is we could go up to Batania. Oh, here we go. Oh, no Britain. That's fine. Tell me who oh, you okay. Are. Apparently we're at war with the minor faction. I did not know that. It's mostly infantry and only one range unit. The cavalry are going to be the issue, but I think we can pull this off. Uh, we'll try this one. So the kind of cav make a big difference too. It's equite, heavy horsemen, and one cataphract. So it's actually not too bad. I, I think this is this is actually a very good battle for us. I feel pretty confident about it. The question is, do we want to start off with bow? And I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we do. Okay, let's do it. So what we're going to do is let's draw these guys out. We got to try and pick on them when they're uh, not clumped up like this. Like this is going to be a, a nightmare. And also look, they didn't used to do this. Not from that range anyways. So, oh, actually the cataphract doesn't have a shield out because he's got his two-handed weapon. So it's going to be pretty easy to pick on him. Oh no, he put a shield out now. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's fast. Wow, he's actually really fast. Oh, one shot to a cataphract. Love it. All right, let's not run into trees. That's not a good idea. Oh, they're fast. Okay, we need to do something here. I have an idea. This is actually the right map. All right. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I don't tell me I didn't warn you. We we're gonna do some funky stuff. All right, ring the dinner bell. Come get some, boys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There they go. Oh man, that's so funny. Let's go look. Oh, this guy survived. What the heck? He's got like bones of jello. He just like turned into a blob on the floor. <laughs> oh man. These guys weren't going fast enough though, so they didn't have like a big charge. All right, keep going. There goes one more. Oh, he didn't die though. I heard him. All right, let's just take out their horse. I think there's only a few of them and they're not very well armored, so we should be able to get away with this. Gumby, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just like flopped into a blob on the floor and uh, came back. All right, let's not... Oh, there he is. Yeah, that... oh, there's three of them. Three of them went over the edge and didn't die. Oh, we might get stabbed. All right, we got, we got, our, uh, we got our jukes going here and breaking ankles. Oh, their single archer is at us. <laughs> All right, we'll take him out soon too. But let's uh, let's deal with the cab. Oh, the one problem I don't want to do I don't want to mix the cab up for the foot troops. Yeah, I don't want the foot troops to get mixed up in that big cab mount uh, mob. So let's try and take them out. Pick up that archer too. Just shy. He keeps moving. Ah, it's kind of hard to get a shot on him. Yeah, now these cav are kind of mixed in there. That's what I didn't really want to have happen because now I need to figure out which ones to kill. Because when I respawn in, they're going to get horses again. Not ideal. Oh, we'll definitely take out the Manavli time because those guys are nasty. There we go. Alright, let's actually go back because I think some of the cav are lagging in the back. Got to deal with this archer too. Get out of here, punk. Yeah, maybe shooting them off the horse was a bad idea. I can't tell who's who. I think it's these guys. Their shield's a little different. No, oh, no, not really. Or is it the guy with the the bronze pauldrons? Maybe. Oh, I can't tell. Oh man, they are pretty accurate with these. All right, I can check and see. All right, so heavy horsemen. There's four heavy horsemen dead. Equite, there they are. There's six left. Yeah, so there's six Equite left. That won't be too bad to deal with, even if we have to deal with it with the uh, melee weapons. Let's just get the unshielded guys out so we don't have to deal with them. 
What am I shooting at? Come on. I'm definitely going to want to take out those Manabliton too, because their range is, is quite good. Okay, yep. I moved right into that one. Come around this side and see if we can pick these guys off. Oh, they're st interesting. They're staying behind their shield wall. I've never seen that. Yeah, they're like de deliberately staying away from me. Alright, we gotta hit headshots. We're just gonna burn through our arrows here. Ouch. Jeez, man. How many do they have? Alright, I think they might be out. Right, let's get to the backfield. Yeah, look at that, man. They're running. They're actively running behind their shield wall. That's pretty cool, actually. It may be time to update the uh, tactics testing, then. It's interesting. Alright, there goes their noble. Here comes their Manabliton. Now, before we leave and swap our gear out, I need to go down and get a screenshot of... Or not a screenshot, but a recording of them at the bottom of the... <laughs> At the bottom of the, um, the cliff. We'll do that. Alright, this might be tough, so we'll have to get some elevation difference and then we'll shoot him in the ankles. There we go, so they're down to 47. We got most of them out. That's it. All right, let's go get a, a screen, uh, get some recording of those guys at the bottom. See how many died. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. Only four died, but there was definitely a lot more that went down, and they got injured pretty badly. So, okay, so we got thirty out. We did hit two fifty, so we'll be able to take the perk. We're not allowed to reload our ammunition, so we do have to switch our loadout. Yeah, hopefully we don't die. That'd be kind of sad got this far and let's see aiming speed with bows i think is going to be the pick yeah i'm not too worried about bow movement speed on foot this one's going to help a lot yeah. all right there's six cab actually wow i thought we took out more than that we could do it again but i don't think it's necessary i just need to get i need to get around and behind somebody and stab them from the back i don't really want to play chicken with them okay let's yeah, I can't really stop too because they're they're fanning out pretty nicely. Here we go. This guy's by himself. Now this, I can't couch lance this thing, unfortunately, so that's not an option. But I can stab horses. That, oh, that thing went flying. <laughs> Alright, that guy's not gonna let us get an easy hit. Now I do. Oh man, that was such a bad idea. Why did I do that? Yeah, their their aim is really good. I don't know if that's something that they changed. It definitely feels better. Mm, man. All right, you gotta have a new game plan here because this isn't really working out. We're just going in circles. Um, crap. But let's at least just get them away from their cat, their infantry, and then we'll try and section them off, pick them off. He's too close. Yeah. yeah, this is why I wanted to take the cab out early with the bow, so I didn't have to deal with this. Because these guys are, are actually pretty well defended. Uh, maybe we can use this to our advantage. This kind of strings them out a bit. We got 100 meters before they... No, they're going to come in between, aren't they? I, I'm having a hard time getting behind one because then they just, they're like backing each other up pretty nice. There we go. There we go. And we got the knockdown on him. There we go. All right. Maybe that's what we got to do. Yeah, we just need to, we need to get it so that one guy's kind of by himself or at least by himself enough to where we can, we can get a hit in before we get surrounded. Giving us much. 
that. We can we can definitely take the horses out. I don't want to do heads up anymore. That was a bad move on my part. It was really stupid of me to do that. All right, this guy's way by himself. No, he's gonna turn. Yeah, we have to let him go. Right, get some picks going. Like I said, having a different loadout for different types of enemies is is going to be really important because you can see how difficult this is. No, not difficult, but just time consuming and uh, kind of annoying. All right, where are they? They're sticking with their infantry. Interesting. Well, that makes them a sit duck then. All right, we can flank this guy now. Maybe. No, they're going to come in. This guy now. Uh, I kind of had to do it. He turned into me. I wouldn't have been able to turn away in time. But it worked out. Play chicken. Uh, gotta be real careful with those javelins, too. They're getting pretty close. Yeah, pull your dinky little sword out. That's a good idea. We don't want to go heads up with this guy, so let's let him pass. Oh, he's learning. He's yeah. learning. He actually hit the brakes, too. Interesting. Yeah, I, I definitely notice a difference in the AI in this hotfix. Pretty significant difference, too. All right, yeah, look at that. He's staying back because he's outnumbered. horse out of here so we can't remount. Alright, there we go. So we dealt with the cab at least. Let's make sure we're not going to get pummeled by uh, javelins. Doesn't look like it. They probably have somebody in there that's got a javelin or two, but oh no, these guys don't. Yeah, they do. We just got to bait them a little bit more. <laughs> okay, I was going to say this. I definitely did this in the test as well. Alright, there we go. We're we're cooking with fire now. Can't get too close and let him uh let him get free hits. Oh that was a big swing. That was a big swing. Uh, let's actually go for headshots, because we do have that perk. Yeah, look at that. It does a ton of damage. 90 damage. 106. Alright, we don't want to get our horse taken out either. Let's try and avoid that. Nope, nope, no. Don't stab me, please. Oh, no. You gotta be kidding me. That sucks, man. That sucks. We had it too. We had it. Well, we hit 300 writing at least, I guess. But man, we should have had that. We should have had that. That's my fault. We really do need a longer polearm to be able to do that because they have a much, they have much better gear. Uh, we're not gonna pay them squat. You can go. You can go sit on your thumb, buddy. All right, we're out of here. Uh, let's go lick our wounds. We still have our bow. We need to... Yeah, we need to go buy everything. Let's go buy some arrows. That's all right. Like I said, we didn't really lose that much. We don't have a whole lot to lose. Uh, we do lose some of our high-capacity arrows, which does suck. But, you know, that is life. All right, while we're waiting, we can get a little bit of smithing XP. All right, we hit level 25, so that'll be nice. Wait, let's save our fish. So now we got efficient charcoal maker. We can just spam levels now, just doing that. We don't even have to craft anything. All right, let's heal up. Uh, land tax, that's not a good one, but I mean, whatever you say, Regea. She's greedy, man. She wants all the money. Now we have 52k. It's not quite enough. Right, we can buy the noble bow, but let's just save up and go straight for the noble longbow. And then we need this to be 200 length, and then we'll be in good shape. Oh yeah, they have, they have arena. Let's see what they got. Cataphract lance, that might actually be it. That might be it. What's the length on this thing? 
Oh, no, but it's two-handed only. I don't think you can use this on a horse. It's a cataphract lance. It's the same one that the cataphract uses. I think so, which means we can't use a shield, and I really need a shield. So we can use it on horse, but I can't use it with a shield. We, I mean, you saw how many things we were blocking with the shield. Actually, maybe we don't. By the time we get down to just the melee troops, maybe we don't need it. We'll try it. I, I haven't tested with it, but it's it's got a good length, 250. So it might be worth trying. This guy is absorbing him, man. Look at that. <laughs> Look at a black hole just sucking everything in. Uh, jumping tech. It doesn't really matter. We'll have this one either way. Yeah, I can't block two directions at once, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. We got... We got through. Right, let's take out the javelin thrower first. Totally with that one, man. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we need to get an angle on somebody or let our, our buddy get an angle. Easy peasy. Really? <laughs> Pretty sure I got that back in time, but maybe not. Alright, no big deal. Alright, we got the cataphract lance. We'll try it out. I just, I don't know if it's going to work without the shield, but we can always use the one-handed with the shield and then transition into... Yeah, because by the time we're stabbing him, we don't, from a distance, we don't really need it, right? So, we'll swap it out. Yeah, 246 is going to be really nice to have. All right, let's... They do have a little bit of hardwood, so let's melt this thing. Yeah, that's fine. Let's actually get up to Batania lands and see if we can do some smithing. They got a tournament here. Let's see what they got. Helmet. Our helmet's not that good, actually. Let's see what the Spangle Helm is. I think it's in the 30s. No, 26. It's not that much better than what we have, but whatever. Alright, we'll just stick with this guy so he doesn't get tag team. Oh, no, he just got destroyed. trying to time it so I can get this guy, but not making it easy for us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a little bit too much. Uh, what? That us? We were blue? So we're... Right? Yeah, we were blue. We're still in it. What is going on here? Jeez Louise. This is what happens when you give an archer a, a horse. The Palatine Guard, he's just like not sure what he's doing. I think if you skip the current match, I think we still get... Yeah, we still get in it, so that's fine. Alright, that felt pretty easy, but she was already kind of hurting anyways. Alright, I think I'm going to try and use more footwork, because it seems like we've got enough... Uh, movement speed and swing speed or we can probably get away with it. Maybe not with this guy since it's a legionary, but we'll see. Oh, uh, maybe. Too bad we do peanuts for damage. There we go. Alright, that wasn't too bad actually. The armor, yeah, armor is not bad. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some more smithing. So, Spanglehelm, let's take that. 55k, so we're 20k off from where we need to be. Let's go do some smithing if we can. Uh, we'll take some fights in the meantime. Man, I can't see anything. I imagine you guys probably 10 times worse than what I'm seeing, but this is really dark. Right, 
let's do with the cab first. Kind of the immediate threat. Finally, man, I... My aim is off right now for some reason. There we go. That's done. 155. Yeah, we've got enough. I need to switch over to polearm pretty soon. Uh, not polearm, sorry, throwing. But I... Hoping to do it after we got smithing up, but it's fine. Gotta watch out for those minor factions now. I guess they're crawling around. Uh, what do we got here? Highland mail shirt. I don't know if it's better than what we already have. Let's see if it's any good. No, it's not. Our our armor's got 12 leg and arm, so let's just skip it. Okay, wait a second. No, there's no horse that's better than ours other than the Vadar hot blood, and we're not gonna get that for quite a while, I think. We can buy all the hardwood we want, so that'll be good. And then we'll heal up a little bit and rest. Yeah, smithing with, with the mods is so much more enjoyable. There we go. And I think... Yeah, we can smelt that down by now. Alright, that should be good. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get... Um, let's get some javelins. Woodland javelins. They're expensive, but they're good. Yeah, they're really good. So we'll definitely want that. And actually, we're going to want four stacks. There goes a lot of our money. So we're going to need to save up some more cash. But that's okay. It needs to be done. Hello, traveler. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that on, and let's go jabs. No shield. Ooh, that's bad. All right, they have 16. So we don't want to miss too many of these. So what I usually do is I kind of treat it like a dive bomber. Like, um, you kind of don't really aim too much other than with your horse, the way direction your horse is aiming. It's pretty easy to just smack them. Like, you see how much damage this thing's doing? Even for hitting them in the leg. And it's pretty hard to miss when there's a big critical mass. And then once once we get a bunch... Um... Oh, oh, I missed that. Yeah, once they're down to like two or three people left, we can just... Do it like normal. Yeah, see, that one doesn't do enough damage to kill. But we're gonna have to do this. Man, they're they're so ridiculously accurate with those. All right, we're gonna need to switch this to melee mode, or we're gonna have to change our loadout. There's eight left, or we could just pick them up off the floor. That's probably fine too. Assume we don't keep missing, which seems like we're doing okay. We're at level 73, so this is actually going to level up faster than I thought. Level 75, that's pretty good. Oh no, I whiffed. Totally whiffed that. There we go. Yeah, the, normally I would just say play normally and, and you'll get the levels as you go, but unfortunately in a campaign like this, you don't really have that luxury. Let's lead them away and then we'll go get our, we'll go get our gear off the floor. There we go. So that gave us how many levels? 38 levels. Not bad. All right, let's go see. Oh, it just ended before we got there. Oh, we don't want to give up our bow. Make sure we're not giving anything away. And also, yeah, so they have noble longbow here too. So we just got to stay in, in the empire area and we'll be fine. All right, now we need to get more throwing weapons and more damage to mounts. So damage to mounts and then we're going to take the plus one throwing. So that'll make a pretty big difference. And then we just need to go, man, yeah, we just need to go find uh, hideouts, preferably. But, I mean, I, I guess even if we don't find hideouts, we'll, we'll have to pick on looters on the way. I didn't realize we started that close to these guys. Whoops. There we go. All right, that gave us six levels. So even just four looters, six levels is pretty good. Oh, there he is again. There he is again. <laughs> oh, but he's got 18 range this time. That's a problem. Yeah, we don't we don't really have a good setup for it. Uh, not that it's a lot of cav, there and, of and it's a lot of ranged units. Oh, I hate this map, man. All right, well let's get it over with. We don't have a shield either, so we got to be careful. guy's a sitting duck, man. Oh, 
how did I miss? <laughs> All right, that's my uh, my javelin throw is really slow. I feel like I feel like I should have timed that a little bit. Really? <laughs> We're getting blasted with rocks. All right, gotta get out of here. Okay, we got no arm at all. Here we go. Dude, this is... Okay, I give up, man. Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I should have been moving, but I freaking hate that map, man. We just lost all our, our gear. Uh, one thing I could do... No, it's... He's gonna have loot on him. We got our melee weapon, but we lost... God damn it, man. Oh, whatever. I should have switched to my... I should have switched to my uh, bow. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed right now. Disappointed! We're gonna get a better bow soon anyways. We need to level up our uh, throwing, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, I gotta stop dying. Uh, war on the Western Empire. We're in the North, so that's fine. Like here. All right, let's heal up. So war has been declared, no big deal. Let's just keep to the plan. Hello, All right, it's gonna be hard to get through these guys' shields, I think. So let's see if we can do it at full speed without getting killed. Oh, that works. 192. Right again. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to bust it. That's what I was talking earlier about taking that shield damage perk. It's actually really good early on. Alright, there's one shield down. I think we can burn through their shields. Oh, or we can hit him in the crotch. All right, well, uh, we were going to do the hideout. Let's do the hideout. Oh, you know what? We have, we have a perk for throwing. What is this one? Chance of dismounting cavalry is not really going to be good because when we get impale, it's just going to go through their shield and kill them anyway, so it's not really that good. We will take the bonus speed damage, though. Oh, i got to keep an eye out here. I don't know where these guys spawn. I'm not familiar with this map. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, wow. Okay, that was way over. <laughs> oh wow it's not enough all right there we go we should be able to get most of these back yeah i keep for some reason the the distance on foot is actually the trajectory is better on foot than it is mounted i don't i'm not sure why that is i gotta i gotta remember to adjust nice these guys don't have shields so we should be good all right this is pretty easy so far actually not too bad we have 28 total got it there we go finally hit somebody Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. All right, there we go. Yeah, we should be able to. We should be able to solo pretty much any um, hideout at this point without too much issue. This is a pretty cool map. I don't think I've seen this one before. All right, here's where we could run into some issues. No, nope, I didn't mean to hit you in the butt. I meant to hit you in the head. Oh wow, what in the world was that throw? There we go. Yeah, that was weird. On the stairs, it like changed the trajectory of where it. Should have gone. That was very bizarre. I've never seen that. It's like my guy just threw it straight at the floor. Oh, she. Yeah. See, that's weird. Like that would normally go way over this guy's head, but that in that instance it just didn't. Okay, he somehow knew I was gonna do a circle. <laughs> All right, one more, and then we gotta deal with the big boss. Oh, got him. All right, this we need to hit a good shot. All slots throwing weapons? Yeah, this is for, for, for uh, throwing weapons. This is going to be a tough one, but I'm going to try it. I might need to switch to melee mode, but we'll see. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Put it right through his head. Uh, okay, well, I was going to say it's either going to be like that or it's going to be a long, drawn out, maybe getting killed, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> so we got 17 skill points off of that. That's pretty good. And then very importantly also is we're getting athletics because we need to get the other skill point into the other attribute point. We need to get some of our stuff back. So we don't have a good shield. This shield's trash. So that's not going to work. Uh, we also have some hardwood. Let's actually smelt stuff. We need to start doing that. We need to get uh, some, some crafting XP going here. So let's just smelt all, right? Yeah, there's nothing in here that we really want to keep. Swing damage, 78. That's really good. But the weapon length isn't good. So for mounted combat, it's just not going to help. We, oh, we don't have enough. Wait a little bit. We gotta heal up some anyways. There we go. So we unlocked a few things. Not really a big concern, though. 
Did I? Yeah, I meant to sell everything. Okay, good. Uh, we don't need two types of food, and we will keep scalpel on hand. We'll run with this for now. We can't really do any big fights this way, but we're building up to items anyways. We need to get 72k so we can get the better bow. Uh, I want to fight those guys, but not the shield's kind of annoying. Uh, let's just go to Umbrella. All right, there's a tournament here, and standard of rage. I don't... We can't use that, so that's not going to help. Yeah, I'll just keep selling it. Perhaps uh, refining it. Now, let's go learning rate. Yeah, when smelting, we'll go learning rate with smithing. And then once we get up here, then we can... And all the parts that we want unlocked, we'll respect this. It's not a big deal. But another point in smithing, that's almost capped out. Oh, man. There we go. That one back. These guys aren't going to have as many throwing weapons, so we got to be careful with our ammunition. Sort of. I don't want to waste two. Yeah, actually, we can say I don't want to waste a second one on him, but we kind of need to. We need the XP. The whole point of doing this is to level up our throwing. Uh, it's giving us some other stuff like Renown and whatever, too, but that's not that big of a deal. Man, is everybody? That guy has no armor. That's not even a one shot. That's crazy. <laughs> we can't even outthrow this guy with a rock. All right, there we go. Take one to the face. Oh, here we go. Oh, man, that hurts. Okay, we might die here. All right, there we go. There's one. There we go. Oh, man, that was not good at all. Okay, well, let's see if we can make it happen here. We still got to get through the final boss, too. I'm a little worried about that, but I guess one step at a time. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? I literally went through his legs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> all right, so... I guess that's for getting, uh, getting megged. One gold per rock? Yeah, seriously. There we go. That's what I needed. Right in the face. Oh, man, no. It didn't kill him either. All right, this is the last guy. Got him. All right, so let's try and do the same thing. One, one tap to the face. Oh, twice in a row. <laughs> Good catch, by the way. Good catch. Here, have a few more. 98 and 91, man, you are getting shafted. Yeah, I know. We need just that little tiny bit more skill in the uh, perks. We got 225, so we can get another point into uh, control. Lowland javelins. That's already what we have, actually. Oh, no, we have woodland javelins. Let's just take it all. Now, this seems to think that these are better. Um, yeah, I don't think they are. But we'll, we'll smelt it down, though. We'll at least get some XP, unlock XP for that. Throwing. Now we can take another two enemy munition since we're starting mounted at all times. Yeah, this is the one that you were asking about. The skirmisher versus saddlebags. We're always going to be mounted. So plus two. This is basically getting a plus eight when we equip four of them. And then... Oh, we already have it, actually. We already have control. Yeah, sorry. But this one... Damage with throwing weapons is not important at all. Fall damage is actually going to be really important when we get to sieges. Because there are going to be times where we might need to jump off the walls to survive. And then... Kick damage dealt, like, who cares? But the fall damage is actually going to be pretty nice. It's like a backup. <laughs> Bandit boss is catching the, get, the jabs. Let's see if they have... Yeah, they have some hardwood. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, actually, we get a tall tip spear. That's 199 length. Let's not smelt that down. We can definitely use that. We do need a shield. I don't want to spend money on a good one, so let's just get a dumpy one. It's fine. Tall tip spear will use 26 damage. Is so bad. But what can you do? Yep, and then as far as we can't really craft anything with this, it's just not enough. Fruit iron, maybe we can, let's see. Uh, I think it's going to be better just to do two-handed swords. Just max everything. Make one, smelt it. We're not going to be able to do much more. All right, we can craft smelt this one a few times before we run out. So let's just do that. Uh, what are we out? Yeah, we're out of stamina now. We'll get a little bit of XP. I mean, we got to sit and heal up anyways, so it's fine. If we have any better parts, not really. All right, that one's decent. The two-handed, for some reason, doesn't really give you as much. Oh, we can't even make this one. All right, so we're just going to craft smelt a few more times, get rid of this stuff, Turn just basically convert it into um, unlocking XP and stuff. But uh, I think we need to refine a few things here. I wish it auto-selected the top one on this one, so I don't have to go back and keep selecting it, but I guess I can get used to it. Uh, oh, we're out of everything. So, yeah, we smelted it down, so we're good there. We used up most everything. Let's just dump. 
Make sure we're not getting rid of anything that we need to... Nope, that looks good. We just don't have our ranged weapon, which is fine. We're really close to it, actually. Oops. Yeah, I, there was one down at uh, Denustica, so we can just head down there. Uh, we need to take out a few... Oh, I didn't check the arena. Let's see. Mittens. Yeah, we don't have good handguards, so this would be good. Let this guy kill him. No? You don't want to hit him? There you go. Yeah, I think we, we can hold people hostage, just sit here and wait. Oh wow, he's fast. There we go. Alright, we gotta win these bets, man. We need uh Ooh, we got a horse. We need to get that that bow. Yeah, look at that. Headshot perk is really coming in handy here, because this thing would normally do very little damage. <laughs> Just put, putting them down, man. Wait, which one's ours? This guy's not ours. <laughs> Thank you, man. Jeez, I kept locking him for this guy. He wasn't getting it hidden. Alright, let's do this. Uh, I keep forgetting we took that perk, so... Throws it a little bit higher. Oh, good job, dude. Very nice job. Okay, he's not letting it go. He's holding it. Ooh. I don't want to do that. Oh, man. The overhead's way slower. I didn't realize it was that much slower. This guy's just lightning fast. No, he's not attacking now. Oh, he let his guard down. <laughs> Alright, that is definitely an upgrade. We'll take it. We just need better boots. And then, I mean, everything needs to be upgraded, but it's it's not bad at all. Yeah, we're, we're looking like a Galadriel for sure. Look at that. <laughs> she is ready for battle, man. This looks like something they would have put on the, the Ring of Powers video. You mean that series? She comes out with like three stack or four stacks of javelins. Uh, that would be so ridiculous. But believable for, for the way they portrayed her. Uh, what are we following that? Let's not do that. So we... Yeah, we still need money. We still need money. Let's not fight in this setting, though. We want to fight out in the countryside. This guy's really annoying, man. He's literally hit me every single shot. What a joke, man. These freaking looters. Alright, two more levels. Yeah, throwing is definitely a bit of a grind when you compare it to the other skills. But what can you do? I think this is the place that has the bow. No, they only have the noble bow. That's not good. I think it's Danustica that had it, actually. Pauldrons with net guard. Let's see if this one's better. Ours is 12 and 2, I believe. Oh, that's terrible, man. What are you trying to do? That's like a punishment, not a reward. <laughs> oh, yeah, this place is the one that had it. Yeah, noble longbow. 71k. That's actually not bad. We're really close. So let's stay around here till we get our bow back. Hey, oh, rebels we? and rote have risen. They're Interesting. How do you lose your own your own uh, culture? What the heck? Alright, let's just keep spamming these guys with fast moving javelins to get the, the high XP. I also think it depends on how far away you are when you release your javelin, so we'll try and release it from farther back. See if that helps. Yeah, 43.2 uh, sorry, 43 movement speed relative. Pretty pretty hefty uh, speed bonus we got. Oh and I whiff. Whiff again. What I could do is just do like a circle and just keep rotating. That'll work. What I need to do is find a good safe method to do with 3x speed on. Oh man, that was right in his face. That looked brutal. Real nice wood. <laughs> a town rebelled against their own culture. So usually when that happens, it's because it's a recent conquest. And they didn't, uh, the town's starving, and they didn't get it stabilized fast enough. Yeah, it's definitely doable. So I think it was Regea and she lost Rotea. I'll take a look. 
Oh, no, it wasn't actually. So that would have been up here. No, okay, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was actually a Sturgeon. Yeah, it was a Sturgeon beef. So, yeah, they lost it. All right, we're really close. We're less than a thousand away from getting our, our bow. Ooh, Thoriel's castle was taken. They might give that to us, too. That'd be kind of nice. All right, we're just short. 300. You know, are we even going to be... Yeah, we will do prison breaks, actually. We will do prison breaks. No, let's let's just wait. We'll be patient for one more turn. Oh, and we got to hide out. We can definitely do that. Are they going to give it to us? No, Regea is going to take it. You greedy little... <laughs> yeah, that's actually really bad. Uh, it'll make sense later why, but that's really bad that she gets it. I, I, I might want to swing it. Can we swing it? It's it's worth spending the influence. We can't. Man, she's too powerful. And she's got backup. So let's wait here. Now for this one, there's no way we do this without a shield. We're going to have to have a shield. So let's put one back. All right, now we're moving on. We got... Let's see, we've done... Is there any that we haven't done? This is the last hideout we haven't done. Okay, we've done every type of hideout except for the the forest one. Can't be contained. There's a tempest within her still, apparently. I gotta figure out where to aim for the headshots because I don't want to waste all the ammo. These guys don't have reloads for us. Nine... Yeah, that's not going to work if we don't hit headshots. Nope, still not hitting headshots. Oh, well, now we are. <laughs> oh, is he going to... Oh, I was going to say, he, sometimes they die on their knees. It's kind of funny. There we go. Oh, wow. That looked brutal, man. Oh, it's through his neck. Oh, man. That's not even through his head. That's just like through his... <laughs> right through his neck. All right. That felt pretty good. Let's uh, get a couple more of those. Here we go. All right. Aim a little higher, it looks like, and that seems to do the trick. Not quite because of the distance. <laughs> Oh, man. That doesn't really get old, does it? And I love that nobody has shields, except for the last guy. That's why a little concern, but the last two times I said that, we hit him in the face, so I'll just keep saying it. Oh, that's not good. They all see me. All right, draw your javelin, man. He keeps not getting it. Here we go. Now we should be good. <laughs> that is so brutal. We'll poke him in the face. That's Well, at least that's the plan. Soon we won't have to worry about the shields, but until then. Oh, <laughs> oh man, you get a javelin. You get a javelin. Everybody gets a javelin. Have, have fun with that. That puts us at 151, so we do pick up another perk here. Don't recall what it is, but let's take some prisoners and all the loot. Oh, a large bag. Uh, it's actually not that good because it's barbed arrows, but we can sell it. And this one, it's going to be... This isn't going to really help us. It'll help us now. But I really don't like having the 25% zoom. I feel like it messes up my aim. So we'll go last hit. Get a little bit more bonus damage. Now we have enough to buy what we need. So let's yeah, get rid of everything that we don't need. Wait, what happened to our arrows? I thought we had a bunch. All right, finally we got it. We got the noble longbow. Now, I think we'll keep this on us for any battle that's going to be tough. Just in case we die. I don't want to lose 71k. In the future, this is going to be irrelevant. You'll see how much money we'll be rolling in, but for now, it's it's pretty important. 